Hi guys, I am back with my blog and uh, today I am bringing one uh, exciting video for all of you uh, where we will be integrating the chat GPT uh, with Microsoft Teams. So yeah, let's start and before starting I would like to mention that uh, there are some of the prerequisites that we need to uh, have uh, before uh, proceeding with the demo. Uh, so we should have an instance, uh, it may be a sales or customer service. So I've in here you can see that I've created sales trial, customer service trial. So I've basically uh, added one flow in the uh, customer service trial environment, uh, which will basically uh, when a chat is posted on a channel in Teams, uh, so based on the question that is asked on the channel, it will respond through chat GPT. Uh, and for this, uh, we also have to uh, set up a new team. So I've already set up a team called as chat GPT and I have a general channel inside this. So let's see how this is configured. So what I'm doing here is I'm basically taking a uh, action where uh, uh, a new, when a new channel message is added. So it, it has two parameters. It expects two parameters, which is team and uh, channel name. So as we have mentioned the configured team and channel name. Then the second step is getting the details of the message. So for getting the details, uh, there are these many pa parameters four uh, mandatory parameters in which there is message ID, message type, which is channel, then team uh, and channel. Okay. And the parent message ID. So uh, we will be taking the message ID and parent message ID from the uh, previous step. Okay. So yeah. And uh, third one is the token. So this is a token uh, which is uh, available on the open AI. Uh, sites and for that you also have to register uh, a user on this site and inside this you can view the API keys you can see that I have created two keys here okay uh, and similarly uh, for using uh, the so there is a lot of documentations uh, which with the help of which we can configure this integration so this has a lot of things like tokens, models, how to use that. So uh, we can just go through this and uh, we can uh, try to implement that. So in the introduction part of the open AI, we can scroll down and we can see that uh, how to make requests. So same thing, we'll have to uh, take a HTTP And in that, we have to uh, put the headers, the content type, uh, the body, and we'll be using the post method here, and this URI. So all these values will be available in on this OpenAI site. So you can directly use this, okay? Now, you will be seeing that uh, I'm not using the whole uh, uh, JSON format that is uh, on the site, because I have tweaked it a bit. So what is happening here is uh, there is a model that is being used. So uh, there are different models available for open AI, but uh, uh, I'm using this text DaVinci-003 uh, and prompt. This is the message that we'll be getting from teams. So we are taking the uh, plain text contact uh, from the uh, teams uh, channel, whatever the user will be typing. Then there is this temperature uh, attribute. Uh, which is used uh, and then max token so normally it is 7 but uh, it is uh, basically uh, the it, it, it basically measures the amount of text that will be adding uh, uh, on the channel so I have increased it to 4000 okay then moving ahead uh, then next step will be I have taken a variable and I am doing a parse JSON here so for parse JSON, what I've done is I've taken the uh, 
JSON format from the site itself, OpenAI site. So I'm using I'm using this uh, uh, JSON format which is available on this site. Okay, this one. Okay, I, I've used this and I've kept it like that. Then uh, the next is I've just added the choices. So it it, it basically is getting the uh, result of this parse JSON and I'm applying it over here. So what it does is it, it automatically generates a response uh, from the chat GPT uh, and open AI. Okay. So let's do one thing. Let's do a quick demo for this. So I have set up this team here. What I'll do, I'll click on the new conversation and I can ask any question over here. may take some time uh, to respond but it responds so basically uh, this is a new thing uh, which is which is uh, being i mean it's it's just just started to uh, boom now and uh, i think uh, there will be a lot of other integrations that would be available uh, with the chat gpt so let's go to the flow. You can see that I've asked a couple of questions which was answered by the chat GPT. So very, yeah, here you go. So I, as I said, it, it takes some time, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's amazing. And uh, I think uh, this will be a game changer. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you guys can try it and uh, let me know in the comment section if you have any queries. So, thank you, thank you so much. And I'll I'll keep on bringing uh, such videos.